I made a terrible mistake. And in order for you to understand my mistake, I think it's important to understand why it matters. So in 2005, I purchased a book on the internet called Calculus of Several Variables. And it was written by Serge Lang. All of these books you see here are written by Serge Lang. And we're gonna go over all of these in this video briefly. So what happened then was I received the book, but when I received it, I noticed that he had died. So I actually bought the book when he was alive, and when I got the book, he died. And I thought that was really creepy. And if memory serves me correct, I'm pretty sure I received the book on the actual day he died. Now, I could be making this up in my head. It's been a long time. 2005 was a long time ago, but it kind of like left some kind of weird impact. And ever since then, I've been like a really devoted Serge Lang fan. So that's one of the reasons I like all of these books is because, I don't know, it was just kind of a weird thing to experience, you know, buying a book and the author is alive and then you receive it and he's no longer alive. It was just kind of weird. So my mistake was in a recent video that I just posted on this book here by Serge Lang, Basic Mathematics. And if you look in the table of contents of this book, so it's got the contents which are really, really interesting. I posted a video on this just, just very, very recently. And then it says index, but when you turn the page, there's nothing there. So what happened was several people were leaving comments uh, about this book. And if you look in the back of the book, after the index, there are answers to some of the exercises. So my terrible mistake was that I basically said that this book did not have answers. And I really, really was disappointed by that fact. Uh, I was shocked and disappointed. And I really didn't like that about the book, but I was wrong. And that is my mistake. So sorry to anyone who was watching that video and you know got a negative impression uh, of this book by the legendary Serge Lang. So, so far I have read um, a couple short pieces of this book and one of the sections on functions. And I thought it was really interesting. There was some math in here that I haven't really seen in other books. And it's pretty basic math. So the fact that this has solutions, I think makes it a really good book. And once I do more problems from this and read more from it, I'll give you a better opinion. So now let's talk about these books because I have spent a great deal of time with these books and they're all really, really awesome. So a first course in calculus by Serge Lang is basically that, a first course in calculus. This is a really old edition, and here's a quick look at the contents, numbers and functions, graphs and curves, the derivative, sine and cosine. So all single variable stuff, I'm gonna go quickly. Mean value theorem, sketching curves, inverse functions, exponents and logarithms, integration. So it's all very, very different from what you would see in like the modern big thick textbooks like the ones by Stewart or like the legendary Thomas Calculus. And it has some supplementary exercises and it has answers to the exercises. Let's look at the answers. This is why I was so shocked. Um, yeah, so here's some answers to the exercises and it looks like there's answers to um, quite a few of them. In fact, all of them for the most part have answers. So great book for beginners. So it's a great book for beginners. You have answers to the problems in the back of the book. So what's the con? So the biggest con in my opinion of this book is that it's too easy. I had a sub who used to always comment and I haven't seen him around in a couple years. And he, he said that he read this entire book and he worked through all of the exercises, but he felt like it wasn't enough. And honestly, looking back at this book, I mean, I haven't worked through all of the exercises. I've worked at some, through some of them. Um, it doesn't have enough exercises for you to get really good. And the exercises are much easier than what you would find in one of the more modern books. In any case, if you can find a used copy, it's worth it. And I'll try to leave links to all of these books uh, in case you're curious. This next one is Linear Algebra by Serge Lang. This is a book that I have used uh, while I was uh, in school because I bought this as a supplement and it's a fantastic book. I love it. I think it reads much better than the book by Friedberg. Um, that's my opinion. Uh, and at the same time, the book by Friedberg has more content. So I think it's good to have something like the Friedberg book and also the Lang book. So very, very readable, very clean book. Um, it's just very clean. I like the way Lang writes. I'm a big fan. So worth picking up for the readability. This next book is a book that gets lots of criticism. I've heard people say stuff like, you can't learn algebra from this book. And I think it's a great book. I remember the first time I heard someone say that, 
uh, I, I just, I was kind of blown away. And I guess I did already know some abstract algebra before I picked up this book, um, but I found it to be refreshing both as an undergrad and as a grad student. So look at this, he does groups in like 66 pages. So you will find stuff in this book that you won't find in other books. You know, you'll find proofs and topics that you won't find in other books. And that's what makes it such a great book. So anyone serious about abstract algebra, I feel like should own this book. This is heavy. I mean, it's both heavy in content. It's gotta give it a little whiff. Ugh. And it's heavy in like weight, right? It's a big, thick book. Totally worth having. Uh, other really good uh, abstract algebra books that are similar, uh, I guess the one by Dummett and Foote, I think would be a really good close comparison. But this one is different from Dummett and Foote. I have found stuff in this book that is not in Dummett and Foote. So it's, it's worth having both. Anyways, the main purpose of this video was to basically correct my mistake about this book. So it does have solutions in the back of the book. Um, I really wanted to correct that mistake. And I thought, you know what? Uh, let me just go ahead and show you some of my other Serge Lang books. Um, so yeah, so here's four Serge Lang books, all great. Um, this one you might be able to get inexpensively. I'll look for it and try to leave a link in the description. This one is not cheap. Um, I bought my copy new and it took me years to decide to buy this book. Really happy with this book and I'm looking forward to doing tons of exercises from this book. This one I've had for a while and you can probably get it pretty cheaply. It's an older book. And this one is going to be a little bit more expensive I think. Um, I bought this new and the reason I bought this new is because before I bought this book I bought the book by Dummett and Foote and it was kind of messed up. Some of the pages were loose and I was really upset because I paid a lot of money for a used copy. And if you look at used copies of this book, they're still pretty expensive probably. So in my opinion, it's worth it to just get a new one. But yeah, great book. Love all these books. And yeah, so now you know, this book has solutions. Good luck and take care. Okay, just one more book. This one is called Algebraic Structures, and it is by Serge Lang, and it's super, super thin. Look how thin that is. Just really nice book. And it's basically a book on abstract algebra. This is from the Union College Library, withdrawn. Super cool. Oh, look at this. This book, together with linear algebra, constitutes a curriculum for an algebra program addressed to undergraduates. So if you read this book and his linear algebra book, then in theory, that would be all the algebra you should take as an undergrad, according to the legendary Serge Lang. This book reads really well. The pages are really good quality. And I'm just a big fan of the writing. In the back of the book, I've got some cool stuff I wanna show you. You can see dates from when people check this out. Union College Library, cool. Schaefer Library, Union College. Wow, 1969, also in 73, also in 75. You wonder, you know, where these people are who checked out these books and what they did with the book. If anything, the book is in really good condition, so I, I don't think it has any uh, penciling marks or anything. But yeah, great, great algebra book uh, by Serge Lang. And this was obviously more elementary than his other book, which is simply called Algebra. Anyways, right, basic mathematics, it has solutions. So yeah, good luck and take care.